alleged fraud Okrocha engages five sons six one billion naira damages welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news update please click on the notification bell a battled former governor of Yuma state roger sokrocha on monday asked the federal high court in abuja to declare the invasion of his residence by officers of the economic and financial crimes commission illegal and unconstitutional Okorocha, representing Imo West Senatorial District in the National Assembly, also demanded one billion naira damages from the federal government for the May 24th, 2022 invasion of his residence. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Ababa Kamalama San, were listed as first and second respondent in the fundamental human rights enforcement suit filed by a constitutional lawyer and human rights activist, Dr. Mike Ozekome San. With the arrangement of the services of Ozekome, Okorocha now has five senior advocates of Nigeria to defend him. Ozekome's suit came out after Okorocha's appearance before a federal high court in Abuja, where he pleaded not guilty to the 2.9 billion corruption charges brought against him by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Ozekame wants a declaration that a siege on a courageous resident at number three Nyasa Close, Mississippi, of Ontario Crescent on May 24th, 2022, without any legal, just legal justification, thereby denying him his constitutional right to privacy, was illegal. He also wants an order of a court directing the respondent to attend the apology in at least three national newspapers. Earlier, Okorocha was in the 17 was in the 17 count accused of diverting 2.9 billion naira from Imo state government house account and that of Imo state local government joint account to private companies. The alleged offence was said to have been perpetrated by Okorocha and one anim Iyere Iyere with the use of their private companies between 2014 and 2016 when he held sway as the governor of Yuma State. Although he denied all the charges, Okorocha has, however, engaged the services of four senior advocates of Nigeria, comprising Oke Amechi, Solomon Umo, Ola Oni, Olanik Pekun, and Kende Ogunwomiju to defend him from the grievous allegations against him. Shortly after the taking of plea, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission Council, Bola Haolotano, asked the judge for an adjournment to enable him to assemble his witnesses that would testify during the trial. He informed the court that 15 witnesses have been arranged to testify against the All Progressive Congress presidential aspirant, and most of the witnesses are outside the court jurisdiction because of the peculiar nature of the charge. Okorocha's counsel, Okia Meiji, told the court that he had filed application for bail of his client and has also served same on Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. He attempted to argue the application but was opposed by the anti-graft agency which claimed that it is just a file counter affidavit against the bail issued. Although the EF social lawyer sought adjournment to June 1st for argument of bail, Justice Equal ruled that he would take all the bail applications on May 31st and directed the Economic and, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to endeavor to file its opposition within time. Huh. Although I'm not a fan of, I'm not a fan of uh, Richard Sokorocha, and of course we use the until you are found guilty, then you are you are innocent. I am totally against what the Getsapu entered of his house, which of course is not the first time he is being harassed. The first was initially at the at December 26, 2021, where his son-in-law was harassed, the, sh radical, the, the shootings radically and all, they should end. If they want to sue you, if they want to, um, you know, get you to come, they should get you to come in a very civilized manner. Okay, and this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.